Hey Muse Tribe, it's Melissa and I create content for those of you who are on this journey with me to do and be better as well as live our best lives. Be sure to subscribe as well as tap that little notification bell so you can see more videos like this one. Now the purpose of today's video is to demo and review the Centella Green Level Unscented Sunscreen SPF 50 plus by the brand Pareto. Now this was actually suggested to me by one of our members of our Muse tribe. Thanks for the suggestion. I actually purchased this August last year through Amazon, but I just haven't tried it yet. So that's what I'm doing today. And it's basically going to be a true first impressions video. I thought that I would never see the day that I would be so hyped about trying out a chemical, <gasps> a chemical sunscreen. Now the Pareto brand does have a mineral sunscreen. I recently ordered that one and I'm waiting for it to be delivered so I can do a review on that as well. But I want to make one thing very, very clear. When it comes to chemical sunscreens, I have absolutely zero tolerance for a white cast. None whatsoever. Like says they've got no excuse when it comes to white, purple, whatever color cast. So this product claims to be a water-based sunscreen formulated with centella extracts and mild ingredients to help reduce skin stresses, which protects against UV rays and harmful environments without stickiness nor white residue left on the skin. Now in terms of key ingredients, the very first one and it's a very long scientific chemical name. So I'm gonna read it off of my computer right here. Don't judge me. It is diethylamino hydroxybenzyl hexylbenzylate. I told you it was, it was a long name. This particular ingredient is part of a newer generation of chemical sunscreens. Mind you, it's not new itself. It's been around for a while, but it's just a part of the newer generation of chemical sunscreens compared to the ones that we are more familiar with, like octinazate and things like that, which is more so a part of like the older generation of chemical sunscreens. It is a UV filter with high absorption in the UVA range, and it also displays good photo stability. It is approved as an active ingredient in sunscreens in countries outside of the United States. Now the next ingredient, and again, I'm going to look at my laptop, to read it out because it's another scientific chemical, you know, organic chemistry or maybe this is regular chemistry because I maybe it's not organic, whatever, you know, it's one of those names. Ethyl hexyl triazone. This too is a part of the newer generation of chemical sunscreens. And it is used in sunscreens in order to absorb the UVB radiation. It is also approved as an active ingredient in sunscreens in countries outside of the United States. Now the next ingredient is Centella Asiatica. It is a plant extract with antioxidant properties that is also rich in amino acids. It has been shown to be a good hydrating ingredient to soothe upset and compromised skin. It may help in revitalizing the skin's protective barrier as well as mitigate effects of damage done by the sun. The last key ingredient that I'm going to highlight anyway is niacinamide. Niacinamide is a water-soluble B vitamin. It helps visibly minimize as well as tighten pores. It improves uneven skin tone, softens fine lines and wrinkles, as well as diminish dullness. It improves the skin barrier as well, and it also helps the skin repair signs of past damage. Now some noteworthy FYIs. Pareto, in case you didn't know, is a Korean skincare brand. The product itself is made in Korea. As I mentioned before, it's free of artificial fragrance, which is great. I absolutely despise fragrance in skincare. It doesn't make sense. Another plus is that this product is free of essential oils. For some people, essential oils, depending on the type of essential oil, for instance, like the ones that are more like citrusy, it can be irritating to their skin. Their skin is sensitive to it. I usually don't have that problem as long as it's not 
heavy on the essential oils. And I do believe that some essential oils play a role, but regardless, this product is free of essential oils. Definitely suitable for a more sensitive skin type, at least worth a shot, you know? It's considered a clean skincare product. There's no mineral oil, there's no alcohol. It is cruelty free and it's also 100% vegan. And best thing of all, it is coral reef safe. You know, I always wonder why like they'll formulate sunscreens that aren't safe for coral reefs. And it's just like, well, yeah, you should, you should wear it every day. But most of the time when people think about wearing sunscreen is because they're going to be out and about going to the beach, you know, swimming in the ocean, stuff like that. And it's like, wouldn't you want to formulate something that would be okay for the marine life that would be okay for coral reefs? I'm just saying like, but anyways, I appreciate that. So this product is 60 ml, which is two fluid ounces. When I purchased it, it cost $14.90 plus tax. On Yes Sell, I saw that the price range basically between $12 and $13. So it's definitely an affordable, budget-friendly skincare product. In addition to being able to find it on Yes Style or Amazon, there are definitely other sites that are selling it, but I found that those other sites sold it at a higher price. And as always, remember to check the expiration date on your sunscreen. Quick reminder, folks, if you are finding the information that I'm providing in this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so that others can see it as well. All right, so how to use this product. It simply says apply onto the entire face and body at the last stage of your skincare routine and reapply frequently to maintain protection. I like the fact that it emphasizes that this is something that you can use on your face as well as your body. And the fact that it's budget friendly, that it's actually affordable, makes me more inclined to use it on my body as well. We drop a lot of coin on certain skincare products, at least me anyway, I tend to be a bit more selective on how I use that product. And when it comes to using something for your body, it needs to be affordable because of the amount that it probably takes to cover your pretty much entire body. So that's cool. I like that about this product already. Now for the tea. Okie dokie, so. Like I said before, I haven't tried this product yet. It still has the little foil tip on it. Oh, come on, come on, do it. Yes, yes, it's all. Hmm, I can't tell if it's actually white or maybe has a little bit of a green tinge to it. Let me put it on the back of my hand so you guys can see it. As you can see, it's white in color. It looks like there might be a slight green hue to it. There's definitely no scent whatsoever, which is fabulous. In terms of the consistency, it's actually pretty light. It feels like a moisturizer. I'm gonna squirt out some more so I can apply it to my face. I'm trying to get closer so you guys can see what it looks like on my face. I'm just gonna go ham and keep applying more to my skin. Why not? It feels good. It absorbs very nicely into my skin. And it's definitely moisturizing my skin. Oh, what happened here? Uh, sorry about that, you guys. It looks like the power went out in my building. So the light that I was using so you so that you can see me better in this video, basically I went out, I've got no light, I've got no way of powering that light. And I usually use natural daylight, that's why I sit next to my window, but because it's been a very cloudy couple of days and I didn't wanna delay filming this any longer, I decided to just go ahead and film it, but at least use some a different lighting source but at the end of the day it looks like the universe had other plans i hope you can still see the results of me applying the sunscreen i honestly did feel like it was moisturizing my skin as well as hydrating my skin which is great that it was able to do both for me as you guys know well maybe some of you guys don't know but there is a difference between hydrating your skin and moisturizing your skin. But anyways, I've already um, 
pretty much rubbed in the sunscreen into my skin. And as you can see, there's no white cast. I'm actually pretty happy with these results. What do you think? I don't know if you can tell because of the lack of lighting, but it does have a very good finish. If anything, it gives me a little bit of a glow, but I don't look shiny, you know what I mean? Lights are back on, yay! Okay, let me come back, come back closer so you can see, y'all. I'm gonna do this real quick. But as you can see, there is no white cast whatsoever, which is amazing. Now, in terms of it being worth the cost, I definitely think so. I think the product, the way that it performed, the way that it feels, the quality is definitely worth the cost. It's definitely a deal. In terms of it being dark skin friendly, I definitely think it's dark skin friendly. There is no cast whatsoever. And in terms of it being oily skin friendly, I honestly, I'm a little bit on the fence about that. So for folks that have really, really, really oily skin and who tend to stay away from moisturizers that are a bit more on the creamy oil side versus the gel base water side. This might be a bit much for those folks. I personally have more normal to combination skin, so I thought this felt great. I like my skin feeling very hydrated and moisturized. Now that you got the 411 as well as a little bit of the tea on the Centella Green Level Unscented Sunscreen FPF 50 Plus by Perito, I would love to know your thoughts on this product. Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, bye bye